Hey, this is Freefall. Um, this is gonna be my second video tutorial. Um, as you can see, here's basic YouTube page. Um, someone asked, how do you change the port on TeamSpeak 3 for the server? And this got me wondering, you know, other people are gonna have the same issue. Uh, thank you, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, and don't make me sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna fail that epically. So, um, as you can see, I've changed my port from 9987 to 9989. Okay, this is going to be a Telenet tutorial. Um, I will be doing it via the um, PuTTY system. If you do not have PuTTY, please look at my previous video tutorial. I have a download link and how to basically log in. So um, I'm going to be doing that right now. I'm going to pause the video so it, again, is under 10 minutes. Okay, now I'm logged in. Uh, if you don't know how to log in, it's pretty much login server admin and uh, this page. Um, this should pop up the first time you have your server. I took a screenshot of it. So um, basically what I'm going to do now is type in the help command. Uh, basically uh, this is what I'm doing is uh, so it's quicker because if you use uh, putty you can just right click. Okay, um, to change the server port you, you use, use S, um, S, or SID equals 1. Okay, um, if you do not know your uh, ID number uh, it's going to be one for now, but if you eventually when we have multiple servers, you can do uh, server list uh, uh, space bracket uh, dash all. You will be able to use that, but um, as right now with the beta, we do not have multiple virtual boxes, um, so you can just use ID1. Now I'm just going to do a uh, basic thing is I'm going to go up here for uh, server edit. I'm going to right click so it gets copied down there. Server edit, and then I'm going to do... Um, the command uh, I found off of uh, the PDF. As you can see, here's the PDF. Um, I brought it up to screen. Uh, if you look, it should be server port. Uh, be virtual server modify. So uh, the syntax then for Telenet would be basically pretty much the same thing as it is down here. Um, server edit v, uh, virtual server. Uh, underscore port equals, and I'm changing it back to default, which is 9987, I believe. Um, yeah, 9987. You get a thing, if you're logged into your server, you get a very nice person saying, server edited. Server has been edited by server admin from my uh, internal IP, and that's the port that I'm using the... Uh, putty system uh yeah so basically that's basically it now um as you notice uh i'm still in the server you have to uh shut down the server i'm gonna close the server down as you can see it closed my telenet as well uh now i should be getting a little thing disconnection error hmm Odd. Anyways, um, as you can see, I'm still on the server, which is weird. Disconnect from current server. Oh, it's glitched out. There we go. Now I'm going to try and connecting. Uh, here's the old port. Oh wait, my mistake. You got to first start the server. But anyways, you still get failed to connect to server. I'll try connecting now that I have the server running. <laughs> And doesn't work. Now I'm going to go to bookmarks. I have the default IP stored in bookmarks. I uh, add a bookmark. You just go here, and as you can see, I have all these fun IPs. Um, you can change the ports. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, this has been another tutorial in response to a question that has been asked on both Teamspeak forums and. Uh, YouTube. Uh, further questions, just post a comment. I'll either a just I'll give syntax for this. I'll reply to the post. I'll also, um, if I feel like this is going to be a problem, I'll make another video to make it easier. But uh, yeah, this has been a tutorial by Freefall um, for TeamSpeak 3 Beta.